Here's the iPad Pro M4. I'm gonna show you how to set this up step by step. So first thing is make sure you turn it on. Just press and hold that power button until it turns on. And then once you're there, you should be at this hello here. And from the bottom, we're gonna slide up here. Go ahead and choose your language. I'm gonna go with English here. Select your country or region. I'm gonna go with the United States. Appearance, choose how you would like text and icons to look on your iPad. It's on here by default, so you can choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with the medium here for myself, and I will tap on continue. Quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in and set up. So you can do it that way. You can bring your iPad or iPhone close to it to set it up, or you can just set everything up manually. Okay, so for myself, I will set it up manually because I want a fresh install on this one. Set up without another device for myself. Go ahead and choose your Wi-Fi network. So let me go ahead and choose my Wi-Fi. Enter my Wi-Fi password here. After you put in the password, tap on join. This may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Here's a software update. You can update now or update later. For myself, I will update now. Terms and conditions, go ahead and read, read through all of this. And if you agree, tap on agree on the top right hand side. Downloading software update. Verifying update now. It's restarting now. We get a status bar here. Now we gotta wait again. All right, looks like we're back at this hello screen here. So just go ahead and swipe up. And we're back here again, quick start, before set up without another device for myself. Now we get a data and privacy. Go ahead and read through that and you can learn more as well. If you're ready to continue, tap on continue. Set up iPad, set up for myself or set up for a child of my family. For myself, I'm gonna set up for myself. Face ID, basically a face ID password. You can set up later and do it later, or set up later and never do it, or you can do it now. For myself, I will do it now. We'll tap on continue here. And then we're gonna get started here. And I'm gonna look directly into that square and I'm gonna kinda put my head like in a circle like that. Okay, face ID scan is complete. I'm gonna tap on continue now. I guess we need to do it one more time, look in it. Go ahead and spin around. Second I second face ID is complete. I'll tap on continue. Create an iPad passcode, okay? So if I go down here, if I move the keyboard over, you have passcode options here. So if, if you tap on that, and these are what you can do, okay? For myself, I'm just gonna go to a four digit here. So now I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna tap up here, and I'm gonna create my password or passcode here. Oops, actually, let me go back to pass code options here. And I need to click this one for myself right there. And now I put in my four digits. And as soon as I put it in, it's gonna ask me to re-enter my four digit passcode again. All right, and now you can see that it's moving here. Transfer your apps and data. Get your existing apps and information like photos, notes, reminders, onto your new device, okay? So you can do that via iCloud backup. You can do it for another, uh, another iPhone or iPad from your Mac or Windows PC or from an Android phone or tablet, okay? For myself, like I said, I want a fresh install copy on this iPad, so I'm gonna put don't transfer anything for myself. Ask you to sign in with your Apple ID. Now you can sign in now or you can do it later. For myself, I'm just gonna do it later. I'm just gonna go ahead and move up a little bit and I'm just gonna tap in forgot password. I don't have an Apple ID. And then I'm just gonna set up later in settings for myself. And don't use for now. Update your iPad automatically. I'm gonna tap on continue here. Location services, go ahead and read through this. Most of you will probably want to go ahead and set this up, but for myself, I'm going to set up later and not even set it up for myself. So I'll tap down here and I'll tap on OK. Now this iPad here, I got the Wi-Fi as well as the cellular version. So to set up service, I can transfer from my other iPad or I can use a QR code. 
But for myself, I'm just going to set up later in settings. I'm going to skip this part for now. Here is Siri. You can continue or set up later in settings. It's up to you for myself. We're going to go ahead and continue here. Pick the voice that you want. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. I'm going to go with voice Choose four voice here. Like me to use. Continue. How's the Siri? How's the weather? Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. Okay, Siri is ready. To activate Siri, you can say Siri or Hey Siri. Okay, we're going to go with continue here. Improve Siri indication. You can share audio recordings or you can go not now. It's up to you. For myself, I will put not now. Screen time, go ahead and read through that. You can continue or set up later in settings. Up to you. I'll set up later in settings and I won't even set that up iPad analytics, you can share with Apple or don't share. It's optional for myself. I will share with them. Same with the app analytics. You can share with app developers or don't share. It's up to you. For myself, I will share. Do you want light or dark display or do you want to go with the auto feature? Okay. For myself, I'm just going to go with dark all the time. I'm going to tap on continue. Welcome to iPad. Tap on get started and voila. Looks like we are in business.